Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we uh, we got something new. Look at that. What what is that? Crappie Cove uh, sent me a couple reels to try out. They they sell a bunch of different models of Lou's Daiwa Fluger, um, Akumas, and they said, you know what? We want you to do a video trying out some new reels. And I've heard good things about Loose. I still have PC Fun, I still use those, but I've heard good things about Loose, so I thought, you know what, let's try them out. I'm only gonna spool up one of these, and I think the smaller one, this is the, this guy is the MH2 200, I think. I purposely got the Loose because of the color pattern. If you're gonna be using ACC crappie sticks, you might as well try to match up the color pattern, because you gotta look cool while you're fishing, right? Especially if you don't catch fish. We're gonna catch some fish today. I got it. yeah, we'll, we'll catch a fish today. But um, that's a 200 size. This is gonna be more of like a bass fishing setup. I'm, I'm not gonna use that today. This is the 100 size, or MH200 Series 1. So this is the smaller setup. Again, a little, it's a white with a little green accent. That's a pretty cool looking reel. So we're gonna spool this up and go try to catch some late, well, we're, we're getting into fall here. It's September. Um, you know, I woke up this morning, I think temps were in the mid 50s. They're still, they still climb into the upper 70s during the day, but you know, it's, it's starting to get a little brisk in the morning. These fish, uh, they're still gonna be holding to their late summer spots, uh, probably until we consistently get daytime high temperatures in the 60s. Um, that's when water temps will start dropping. Once water temps start dropping, these crappie, what they're gonna do, they're gonna slide out from their, their late summer depths, which on most lakes, on the river, it's been about 16, 17 feet, but a lot of the lakes that I've been on, uh, they've been 20 feet plus or minus four feet. So 16 to 23, 24 feet. That's where I've been finding these fish. Once the temps really start dropping in October and definitely into November, uh, these fish are going to slide out to that hard to soft bottom area that I always talk about. I love fall fishing, fall time fishing, and then late winter fishing. It's basically the same. These crappie are going to be set up in the same spot on our natural lakes up north. Uh, that hard to soft bottom transition. What that is, it's sand to mud or muck, or maybe it's gravel to silt. That, that transition line, they use that as a contour. It's usually set up on a specific contour and they use it as kind of a highway. So they swim along it. And then during the fall, depending on where they're suspended up or down in the water column, if they're suspended pretty low, usually they're feeding on insect larva. And that insect larva is in that soft bottom area. So that's why they slide out to that deeper water. If they're suspended up, they're definitely chasing bait fish. Today, we're in that late, really late summer, early fall phase. These fish, I'm thinking they're still might be set up in that late summer area. Um, there's a couple concrete pillars that I, I like fishing on the river here. So hopefully those fish are still there. It's in about 17, 18 feet of water. Typically, I've, because you're fishing a river system, you got current uh, pushing oxygen and, and food. You can fish a little bit shallower on a river system. On our natural lakes up north, usually there's not that much current. Um, not, there's not a really a, a big push for oxygen or food. Uh, compared to a river system. So those crappies slide out a little deeper on our natural lakes versus our river systems. You, there's a chance you can catch crappie in less than 10 feet of water if you got a strong current flow on a lot of river systems. So don't shy away so much on the rivers to go out deep. You can, you can try shallow, but I think these crappie are gonna slide out deeper. Um, usually the river systems that they'll slide shallower on, it's with a lot of bends and you'll have something like a lay down. I don't know if you can see this is lay down right here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's gonna be crappie on that because it's only in like four or five feet of water, but in the springtime, there might be some, some crappie on something like that. But if you have something like that lay down behind me here in 10 or 12 feet of water, and there's a current seam going around it, there's a really good chance you can find some fish. So today we're gonna go find some fish on a couple of my favorite spots. I'm gonna show you on the map kind of how they're set up one of them is set up kind of on the edge of a point or a secondary point that comes out and it's probably 30 or 40 yards from the edge of the current seam um, but it's on the bigger part of the river so first we need to uh, need to spool up this reel get it on i'm going to use the six and a half footer today and then we're going to 
catching crappie. Let's go. Back to my lucky spot on the river. So far, there's there's only been a few big boats out today, which is good. Hopefully we can get on these fish and stay on them. And uh, since we're using stuff from Crappie Cove, they sent me they sent me a bag of bag of goodies, a bunch of uh, you know what we're gonna go where are we gonna go with here? Might just go with the chartreuse and white. It's a pretty good option. I'm gonna go with that since it's already open. Going with a uh, 3 16 ounce ACC jig. A little bit heavier, but um, I got a feeling, oh man, there's fish right below the boat. Oh, the red foot. I'm gonna screenshot that for you. Those fish are right below the boat. I gotta back up. Oh, there was a tap. Dang it, I missed him. There he is. There's a good one too, I think. Unless I'm just drifting funny, but I think that's a decent one. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Be a solid eater, that's for sure. First drop, first fish, gotta love it. These fish are setting up this, this little, con the concrete thing I'm on right now is about 19, 18, 19 feet of water. These fish are probably gonna hold here, probably maybe, maybe another two weeks before they start pushing off a little bit deeper. That is a nice crappie. See what he is. I'm just. Gonna, I'm not keeping any today. I got too much editing to do. I don't have time to cook any, unfortunately. Oh, he's ten. Ten and a quarter. Yep. Just shy of ten and a quarter. Be a nice little eater. Let him go. That fish was super aggressive. Holy smokes! First drop. That was a hard thump. That's the other thing, water temp starts cooling. Right now there's 70, 73 degree water temps. But as water temps will start cooling, usually the bite will pick up. Oxygen gets mixed in throughout the water column, triggering that metabolism. That's why they talk about a fall bite. Oh gosh, dang, that looks like a big wave. I'm gonna get swamped on that one. Reminds me, I gotta put some WD-40 on this seat. A little squeaky, a little squeaky. Big thing is drag, just in case you, you know, I'm on a river system, I could hook into a catfish here, and last thing you wanna do is try to retie. So, having a smooth drag is super important, and so far this one, I mean, that's a smooth sounding drag right there. This is a 6.2 to one gear ratio. Um, you know, if, if we're reeling in, if, if I was casting out curly tails or something, I was really trying to cast on a weed bed or something, uh, this might be a little fast, it's a little high of a gear ratio. You might have to slow down that retrieve. Typically a five to three to one, 5.3 to one is a good good standard. There's one. Oh, that, that is not a, see this is what I mean by having decent drag. <laughs> That's a small mouth. That's not a crappie. Come here, buddy. He's a little small mouth. Oh, he came off. That was a small mouth. That was only like a 13, 14 inch smallie, but you never know what you're gonna catch. That guy smacked it. Oh, right on the drop again. That's a crappie. Not a big crappie, but that's a crappie. And they are eating up that little white and chartreuse pattern. They're just loving that pattern. You know what? I think in the intro I said this was a 1,000 size reel. I think this is a this is their 200. There's one. Another crappie. Bam, bam, bam. These aren't keepers though. These are little guys. I mean, you could keep them. There's no size limit on this body of water, but those are. Those are lake crappie. We don't want them. 
there. Oh my gosh. I'm just giving it a little pop and letting it fall and then they smack it. I think almost every fish has just been, I give it a little pop and then bam. There's one just like that. Ooh, I think I'm wrapped around the rod tip. Yeah. Crappie. These are not the keepers. Last time I was out here, I was catching some 11, almost 12 inch fish. I know I'm using live scope and I know a lot of you kind of want me to show you down imaging or side imaging or something, 2D. I suppose with the way these things are hitting, I could use my 2D, but this piece of, piece of cover is just so small. I think it's only like a three by maybe four foot piece of concrete. And so to consistently cast at it every time, typically there's some current, there's some wind, and then on this body of water, there's usually a ton of boats pushing pushing some wake so it's really hard to stay on top of it vertically but today I might might be able to get away with it all right well there's a school of bait fish down there those aren't crappie though problem with the 2d sonar it's so tough to get right on top of fish and stay on them when you're in current hopefully hopefully there's not a ton of current here All right, here it comes. See that, that hard object right there? That hard return, that's that concrete pillar. There I am. See that, that's my jig bouncing up and down. Right, there's a fish. Here comes a fish. Come on, dude, smack it. See that big yellow mark? That's a fish. Oh, he's right there. He's nibbling at it. There he goes, he's swimming back down. There he is, got him. Oh, that's a good crappie too. Good crappie on the 2D sonar. Fortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get many more, <laughs> but uh, that is a solid, solid Wisconsin crappie. He choked it too. Oh. See how far down he choked that? He shot straight up from that piece of concrete. He absolutely hammered it. Absolutely hammered it. Let's see how, how big he is. These are the type of crappie I was catching on here earlier this this week. Oh yeah. There's an 11, almost an 11 and a half inch fish. Oh, easy buddy. Well, flopped right out of the boat. There you go, quick release. 11 and a half inch crappie on the 2D sonar. It can be done. It's just very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Basically what you're looking for this time of year, start with their secondary points. If you can find a piece of cover, like a piece of concrete, a brush pile, something like that. If you don't have any brush piles or, or think concrete or lay downs or anything, the deeper weed edges are still gonna hold fish for the next, I don't know, mid-September maybe, before water temps really start to, start to cool down. Oh, dang, there he was, I missed him. Just talking too much for water temps start to cool down and those fish are going to push off to that hard to soft bottom edge which i'm looking forward to i mean i'm not looking forward to not being able to wear flip-flops because it's going to be a little too cold for that but these fish are going to school up real tight in the fall late september october you're going to find massive schools of them at least up north that's what they do um, if you're in a southern state fishing a reservoir system in the fall those creek channel edges if you can find you know, a, a stump field or a bunch of brush that got pushed up into one kind of pocket of that creek channel because of the current, those are gonna be really effective. 15, 20, 25 foot of water, that, you know, that probably is where I'd check if I was fishing a reservoir system. They can be deeper. I know I fished Lake Fork last November and we were catching fish anywhere from 20 feet of water to they they were suspended 25 30 feet down in 50 or 60 feet of water on lake fork in that early part of november so you're, you're primarily just looking in the range of like 20 to 25 feet they can be a little bit shallower but i wouldn't say shallower than 15 feet unless you're fishing a, a strong current river system that's when those fish 
can definitely survive shallower because that current's pushing oxygen and food. Well, there you go. Pretty nice reel. Um, like I said throughout the video, I think this was this is the 200 size. I thought they were going to send me the 100. Either way, pretty nice reel for a 200 size. It's pretty compact, uh, which is good. These are the the reels, the 200 or the 2000, depending on the, the manufacturer that I really like to use for a multi-species or if you're casting a lot. Um, the shorter rods you can get away with the 1000 size. I wasn't bomb casting it. I was just flipping it out 20, 30 feet. Um, so six pound mono, three sixteenths ounce uh, ACC crappie sticks jig. And then a uh, huge thanks to Crappie Co for sending me the sweet corn by Wild Willie's OCD. It's kind of a crazy, crazy name, but it worked. That white and chartreuse with the white, white jig head caught some crappie. I actually found uh, two more spots. There, there were some really nice crappie stacked up. They're gonna start pushing out deeper as the fall rolls on, unless you're fishing a really tight uh, river system where there's current next to, let's say, eight to 12 feet of water. You can find some crappie in there, but for the most part, our crappie up north on our natural lakes, as September and October roll in here, these fish are gonna push out to that 25 foot mark. Um, any place where that hard to soft bottom transition happens, on your lake it might be 20 feet, some lakes it might be 30 feet, um, but they, they're gonna start stacking up and schooling up really, really well. Check out crappiecove.com, they got a bunch of different stuff. Huge thank you to them for sending me the lose reel. My spot lock is going nuts. And uh, thanks, for the, thanks for the new plastics. So check out crappiecove.com. I'll leave a link to the entire setup as well. If you got any comments or questions on how to find crappie late, late summer, early fall region, and even into the fall, as we get into the fall here, um, let me know in the comment section below. If you got any video ideas that you really want me to dig into in full detail, otherwise you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you and I try to message you back as soon as I possibly can. Appreciate you watching as always. I'm gonna get off the water here. Got some editing to do. Get some videos out for you guys, so we'll see ya. Thank you.